Gates, of course, a Republican lawmaker in the House uh, has decided to share his opinion on what should be done following yet another mass shooting, this time in Louisville, Kentucky, that killed four people. Four people lost their lives in Kentucky and another eight were injured. The shooter is dead as well. We, of course, want to take time to mourn the loss of innocent life, but we should not wait in acting to prevent these frequent aggressive acts from happening in the future. Democrats want to blame guns, of course, but we know it's not that simple. It's misguided even. Your grandparents used to be able to order mail order automatic weapons. And when the Second Amendment was written, the American people such as they were could own cannons. No mass shootings back then. Now it's important to know the details about that shooting and the shooter specifically because he was a 23 year old male who legally purchased his gun on April 4th in Kentucky that has incredibly lax gun laws. That's why he was able to legally buy his gun with no problems. Uh, motive was not confirmed when we originally covered the story. Now it's become increasingly clear that after he found out that he was about to lose his job at the bank that he shot up, he decided to uh, open fire at that bank. He had no criminal history, no indication of mental health issues or mental illness. And that's important context for you to know as we hear this lawmaker share his uh, point of view. So let's go to the next video. The Democrats are purposefully riling up their nutty shock troops in hopes that they will terrorize normal Americans into submission. Rand Paul was assaulted by his riled up neighbor. A congressional baseball practice was shot up by a riled up Bernie bro. You just heard the voicemail left for me and more will come. It's Demo the Democratic Party in Big Pharma that are unleashing the crazies on you and nobody seems to have a solution for it. Actually, uh, there have been many solutions, including funding mental health care, single payer health care system would actually solve a lot of our societal ills, but we can't do that. By the way, when it comes to funding mental health care, I, I believe Matt Gates had the opportunity to vote in favor of allocating the resources for that, but didn't choose to vote yes on that bill. So not, not at all concerned about mental health care. They love to invoke the need for mental health care after a mass shooting, but they never mean it. And why is he bringing up political violence when this mass shooting had nothing to do with political violence at all, at all? Jink. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it worse than that, but there are a lot to cover here. So first off, he says, "Oh my God, look at all this uh, violence from the left." The softball shooting—that's true. That one is okay. Uh, then the Rand Paul beating—that one wasn't political at all. What it was a talking? feud with his neighbor. Yeah, it was his neighbor. I don't. His neighbors in Kentucky is probably Republican. It had. It was not one percent political. Okay, so that's just made up. Number two. Uh, it, oh, I'm sorry. Number three. He said, "I got a voicemail." Oh, did you, Matt? Okay. People on the left get hundreds, sometimes thousands of threats, physical threats, death threats, etc. Matt Gates has never given a damn, but he gets one and he's like, "Oh my God, did you guys know that there's violence?" Hey, Matt, aren't you the one that said that people should grab their guns and, and maybe use their Second Amendment rights against people? That's a direct call for violence against your political opponents, and now all of a sudden you're concerned because you got one voicemail. Like, by the way, you shouldn't send that voicemail to him. Death threats from either side is stupid and you shouldn't do it and it's immoral, okay? But did Matt Gates ever say that to his own side? Like I just did. I've said it a thousand times on the show. Did Matt Gates ever? No, he egged his own side. Oh, yes, yeah, Second Amendment rights. Make sure, and look what he does here. He's like, oh, we got these mental health problems. Well, first of all, you guys don't help fund mental health, so you're full of crap. But that's not why he's saying it, because the new right wing talking point is trans people or all have mental health issues. We should take away their guns. And now Matt Gates is suggesting we should lock them up and put them in insane asylums. Yeah, he's- Lunatic. No, no, Matt, you're the lunatic. Okay, so let's go to that portion of his argument. And I, I just despise that he's saying this. I'll explain why when we come back, let's watch. We need to reopen the asylums. There are severely mentally ill people who do not have a right to wander our streets seeking and selecting who they are going to terrorize. Whether there is criminal culpability or not, there is a permanent element of society that is dangerous. And it does not make us more just or more compassionate to have them walking amongst the rest of us. Because then you see the type of loss of life that we've seen too frequently from these acts of violence. 
Now, subject to due process, of course, in our constitution, we have to put some people away. And that might not be politically correct to say, but it is the truth that we encounter, especially in a world in which we're getting so many people chemically addicted. Good people have a right to exist in the country without wondering if some crazy leftist or mentally ill individual lurking around the corner is about to post up and kill you. So what he's saying there is just completely contrary to what needs to happen in the country because we do have problems with mental health that goes undiagnosed, untreated. We see it on the streets all the time. It's incredibly cruel. I can't even tell you guys how many times I have driven to work and there is an elderly person on the freeway, walking in the middle of the freeway because they have mental health issues and are not getting the help they need. They absolutely do need the help. And sometimes, unfortunately, they don't have the ability to consent to the treatment. So they might have to be institutionalized even without consenting to it in extreme cases. I agree with that point of view. But with Matt Gates saying that, the way he's saying it, politicizing it to make it seem as though his political opponents need to be uh, held against their will because they're so dangerous and such a threat to society. First of all, it's terrifying and runs counter to policies that we actually do need to help those with severe mental health issues. It's the most counterproductive thing you could imagine if you cared about the things that even Matt Gates says he, pre- he pretends to care about. So look, do we have to have funding, better funding of mental health facilities? Yes. And then if you want to get into a conversation about, hey, when someone's on meth, fentanyl, et cetera, they're in the street, what do we do, voluntary, involuntary, et cetera? That's an important public policy debate to have. But you can't have it anymore because Matt Gates says, oh yeah, let's open up the facilities so I can lock up all my political opponents, including trans people. Well, now you can't have that debate That's because, right. because you just politicized it. And now I'm not gonna open up a gulag for you, Matt Gates. If Matt Gates said, "Oh yeah, the shooter in the softball case, that, that like Bernie Sanders, he should be locked up. Yeah, I agree. I say, of course, yep. of course he should be locked up. Absolutely. Like we're not right wingers. If we were right wingers, we'd go, oh, no way, man. No way. It was self defense. It was self defense. And he's allowed to do his Second Amendment rights, right? No, we don't say that because we're honest. You show a crime and we say, yeah, lock that guy up. That's a crime, right? Mm-hmm. But when you say, oh, I don't like these people walking around us, amongst us, what is that? That's generally, I don't like the left, I don't like, and he's partly referring to trans people here because of the shootings. No, I mean, and he also yeah. says, he mentions people who, uh, I forget the exact wording, but he mentions people who are like chemically addicted, I guess, or on. Yeah, yeah. You know what they're talking about. Hey, of course. And so, and if the left said, hey, let's lock up random right wingers, of course I'd say no, no, right? But the right wing does not, they just don't think that way. And guys, all right, last thing. He says, oh, I'm worried about the shooters. I mean, look at Kentucky. Wait, what do you mean? The guy in Kentucky had, as far as we know, had no mental health issues other than being a mass murderer. They all have the same mental health issue in that regard, right? And he was a white male. What are you talking about? They're like, oh yeah, did you know there's two trans shooters? Did you know there's hundreds of white male shooters? Male Christian shooters, young male shooters, hundreds of them, if we used Anything like Matt Gates's logic would have had all the white males in the country locked up a long time ago. Oh, they're all nuts. They're all lunatics. Let's put them into loony bins, right? But not based on my logic, based on Matt Gates's logic. Oh, these guys are doing shootings. Let's lock them up. Then Matt, we need to lock all of your asses up. But we don't think that way because we're not monsters like you. We don't want to put people in prison for disagreeing with us politically. These the right wing is super dangerous. They just don't believe in democracy.